Okay, now let's start cleaning up the typography in here a little bit. This is obviously just GAC looking right now, so let's jump over to our to TextMate here and start looking at this. Uh, the main content, the paragraphs of text in here, are wrapped in P paragraph tags. So this font size of 1.2 I think would work pretty well for the for the body text for them. So let's let's is, our list items already have a 1.2. Let's give paragraph items the same font size. Also, uh, a important consideration in body text is uh, in typography the line height. I think giving it a little bit more than the font size is generally nice for the eye. And paragraphs, as well as list items, kind of benefit from a little bottom margin to nudge that next paragraph down a little bit. Maybe not quite as much as a line height, but I, I think that's a nice touch. And we'll save that. Also, a header. Obviously, this article is going to need a header. Let's give it a nice, bold H1 tag. Uh, what was it? Something like expect record political spending in 2008. Something like that, right? H1 tags are for headers, so this is a good semantic use of that. And let's declare some styling for the H1 tag. Let's make it nice and big, like 3Ms. Uh, Remember, with the reset, we have everything set to margin zero, padding zero. That's going to affect these header tags as well. Generally, browsers have some default margin for header tags, but we kind of stripped that out, so we kind of got to apply it here. Let's just make it the same as the paragraphs. All right, let's see if that makes this mock-up look any better. Save it and switch back to Firefox and reload. Uh, we made the 2008 kind of a, uh, a widow down here, but overall this body text looks pretty decent and readable, so not bad. I don't think that was the exact title anyway. What is it? Expect record spending for political ads in 2008. There we go. Much better. Now let's work on that sidebar a little bit. Okay, let's take a look at this sidebar, this area here. You see it's got this big, nice, thick bar on top of it, just as a kind of a design element to set off the sidebar. Let's start with that. We can use the eyedropper tool in Photoshop here to click that and get the hex code for it, which is, oops, sorry, I'm out of the screen here, 540,000. We can just copy it from there. And since that's really, it doesn't need to be part of the content, it's really more of a just a design element, we can accomplish that pretty easily with CSS. So let's take a look at that, the CSS for the sidebar. The right column, border, top. Oh, how big was it? Let's call it three pixels for now. Solid of that color. If we want to find out the exact pixel height of that, let's just jump back over to Photoshop. If you're running Leopard, Command Shift 4 brings up these handy dandy little crosshairs, which if we go over here and highlight just that high, that's about, see where it says 5 or 7, 9 there? That's width by height. So if there are 7, 8, that's about 8 pixels tall and you can just hit escape to get rid of it. Just a nice little pixel measurement tool. So let's call that 8 pixels. And save that. Jump over to Firefox and see if our line made it. There's the line. Nice. Alright. Let's jump back to Photoshop so we can copy some of that text out of there so we don't have to write it ourselves. I'll grab my text tool 
jump in here and grab this header. Command C, copy it. Jump back over to TextMate. And then up in our markup up here, let's start getting some content into that right column. Uh, I would use a H2 tag here. It's 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 in the sidebar, so it's it's not you know, it's just nice to have your subheadings use a less high header tag. Well, looks like we got some came in formatted a little bit, all caps. That's okay. We'll just leave it the way it is. So that's our header for the sidebar. We got to remember that we have not yet styled the H2 tag, so we better do that. But let's jump back to Photoshop. Grab the text tool. Let's see. And grab this text. And plunk that down with the same paragraph tags that we use the main body although this learn more was kind of it's off by itself so we'll throw that also in p tags but it was a link so let's give it an anchor link close out that tag okay so let's style what an h2 looks like because we know that now I know when I copied and pasted it, it all came in as uppercase, but that might not always be the case. So let's do a text transform on it to all uppercase, which will just kind of force uppercase on it, and a margin bottom. Now, let's jump back to the mock-up just for a second. I think this text over here is a little smaller than this text is, which I think is kind of a nice touch to, to you know, make this is ancillary content and this is main content. You know, this is off to the side. It just looks like a little smaller text over here, which is a nice design touch. So I think we should be able to do that in our CSS by going right over to the... In the right column here, let's say that the, the paragraph tags that are in the right column that are in the main content are going to be, it's going to have a slightly smaller font size. Maybe we can get away with percentages here. That might be a nice way to do it, like 85%. Let's see if that does it. Save it, jump back to Firefox. Reload. Okay. Few problems here. That 85% was just way too small. You can barely see this text. And our text here underneath the border butts right up against that border. So let's fix those problems. Jump back to our CSS. To get that text away from that top border, let's just apply some padding to the top. 15 pixels ought to do it. And then 85% was just too much for that. Let's call it 90% and then maybe let's see what happens if we bump up the, the font size just a little bit. It might be edging on too small. And compensate with some line height. There we go. It's still a little too small, and you know, this is what you get when you copy text out of Photoshop too. Can you see that? These little tiny weird uh, box things that's a, some kind of problematic font thing. I shouldn't have copied that text out of Photoshop. It brings over weird characters, and it's just kind of bad news. I can go in there and clean that up, but they might even be invisible characters. So generally that's bad news. But we did kind of get the, the, the small text effect over here, although it still might be a little too small, and this might be a little too big. We can, I'll go ahead and make those tweaks, and, but that's generally the, the idea here.